The end of this incident stopped right here at this Shell station in Henryville. It left one person in the hospital and another person detained. It also left police saying all of this could have been avoided. Red Bronco, white van involved in an accident, then road rage. Yeah. The red Bronco driver was then shooting at the passenger, the white van, the passenger's now laying in the grass. According to Trooper Philip Hensley with Indiana State Police, just after 2 p.m. Friday afternoon, a road rage incident in southern Indiana ended with gunfire on I-65 near Henryville, leaving one man injured. If both drivers would have simply stopped on the shoulder, contacted us to come investigate the crash, we work the crash, we send you out with a crash report and you're done, none of this. Absolutely none of this would have happened. Police say this incident started when one car sideswiped another. A 911 caller says the drivers continued for several miles, speeding up and slowing down before exiting at Henryville. Both drivers got out of the vehicles carrying handguns. Henry says the Ford driver fired four shots, hitting the minivan driver, who then drove to the Shell station for help. This is the second road rage incident in Clark County this year. In October, 35-year-old Eric Luckenbill was killed in a similar case in Clarksville. His manner of death still remains under investigation. Now, less than two months later, Hensley emphasizes how easily these situations are avoidable. The fact that you allow your emotions to overwhelm yourself beyond the circumstances of what you just went through, this is unnecessary. And this is why we end up with the circumstances that we do out here on the highways with these quote unquote road rage incidents. It's all preventable. In Clark County, DeAndrea Turner, WLKY News.